Team India's performance at the T20 Championships, Pakistan getting knocked out, the Euros in Germany, there's a lot happening in the world of sports and I have got you covered. Welcome to another episode of The Locker Room. My name is RJ Pajosh, joining you every week to talk about what's trending in the world of sports. First up, let's begin with some cricketing news. Well, the world's biggest T20 carnival is currently on in the US of A and in the West Indies where 20 teams are competing. And here's a quick look of what happened in the India versus Canada match that was called off due to the outfield being wet. While the crowds had come in, the enthusiasm filled the air, the rain gods had other plans. Well, India's last group stage match against Canada was called off. Now, while the initial phases of this tournament, Team India has had a great run, winning three matches on the trot and accumulating seven points, they have managed to qualify for the Super 8 stage of this tournament alongside the co-host US of A. But the surprise exits of this tournament have been Pakistan who have failed to qualify. Are you happy? And also New Zealand who have had a terrible run in this tournament. They are also out. Now the stage is all set for the group 8 matches. India will begin their encounter against Afghanistan happening on the 20th of June in Barbados. Now staying on with some cricketing news. Well the Indian women's team registered a big win against the travelling South African team in the first match of this three-match ODI series. Smriti Mandana's classy knock of 117 runs coupled with Devdi Sharma's all-round show that got 37 of the bat and two wickets for 10 runs along with Asha Shobhana's four-wicket haul. It helped Team India register a comprehensive 143 runs victory over South Africa at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. And now we've got two more matches so here's wishing our women's team all the very best for this tournament. The second match is going to happen on the 19th of June at the Chinnaswamy. Moving on, let's talk about some footballing news where Europe's biggest footballing teams have now gathered in Germany for Euros 2024. 24 teams spread over six groups will face off with one champion who will be declared. Who is going to be your winner? If you have a thought to share, comment below. Well, in the first match of this tournament, we saw the host nation Germany facing Scotland in a highly anticipated encounter. People had a lot of expectations from this match, but it was the host nation Germany that ran rampage, defeating Scotland by five goals to one at the Allianz Arena. In the second big match of the tournament, we saw the former champion Spain facing off Croatia. Now, there was a lot of fireworks expected from this match, but it also turned out to be a one-sided affair, where Spain scored three goals in the first half itself and sealed the match. Italy also registered a 2-1 victory over Albania in their Group B encounter, but this match will actually be remembered for the fastest goal scored in the history of the Euros when Adim Bajrami of Albania scored in just 23 seconds. Kudos indeed, yeah? Netherlands and England also registered a victory in their respective opening group stage matches. Now, while it's still early stages of this tournament, a lot of big matches are going to be happening and fans around the world are going to go crazy supporting their favourite teams. But I want to ask you again, who do you think will be crowned as the ultimate champions of Euro 2024. Do comment and let me know. And all you have to do is stay tuned to the locker room with me, RJ Pajosh, for all the updates from the world of sports. Thanks for keeping me company. I'll catch you soon.